Welcome to Monster Chats, presented by Monster VoIP, where we share the tools, methods, and best practices that business leaders use to build new connections, strengthen relationships, and impact sales and organizations of all shapes and sizes. If you have any questions that come up during today's episode, please text them to 424-378-6966. Please welcome the founder of Monster VoIP, your host, Colin Mitchell. On today's episode, we're going to be talking with Christopher of Decker and Reed. Chris and I are going to talk about how to look at storytelling as that means to grow, connect, and prosper in today's business landscape and his formula for breakout content growth. I'm Colin Mitchell, the host of Monster Chats and the founder of Monster VoIP. Christopher Decker is the chief happiness officer and managing partner of Decker and Reed a content marketing firm specializing in leveraged user-generated stories. Chris is an avid community builder, emerging technology thought leader, and artist. His journey through sobriety, service, and storytelling has brought to the ends of the earth and back. He believes that when you blend art and science, magical things happen. He's also the author of a book called Profit, which is being released in the next few weeks. Months? Yeah. Weeks. Oh, okay. Awesome. Chris, welcome to Monster Chats. Thank you for having me, Colin. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, uh, the intro tells us a lot, but, you know, tell us, tell us a little bit deeper. What, what do people not know about Chris? So uh, it's really interesting you asked that question. And, and you know, my voice, I lost my voice a little bit. Uh, so here's the story behind that. It's kind of funny. Um, you know, I was, I was at home like, like many of us and it was, it had been just a a killer week, big gargantuan 80 plus hour week and I needed to de-stress and I was about to start another week and I was like, I needed, uh, an ending block. So I went out for a run. Runs really helped me to Mm -hmm. declutter the, the mind and to work out things. And so there's this trail near my place, um, in Irvine in Quail, Quail Hill area. And I go and, and I start running the loop. It's about a two mile loop. And by the t- I have like the EDM playing in the headphones and I'm pumping and I'm like, I'm so excited to be outside and the sun is starting to set. And by the time I start to reach the edge of the, uh, the end of the trail, um, about to start going home, you know, I, I thought, okay, I'm going to do uh, a priming meditation exercise. And there's one that I do. Uh, from Tony Robbins, and it's about a 10, 10 15 minute um, sort of priming meditation. And at the end, after all of your gratitude moments, visualization of the future, like you're really making it happen, you build up all this joy and this energy inside of you, and then you sort yeah. of like let it out, all the, yeah. all, all the noise. And so here I am, this lunatic screaming at the mountains, like roaring like a lion, um, and these people are just like walking by thinking I'm just some sort of, I must be schizophrenic or something. Um, I, oh, that's awesome. I, I, I'm, a, I do that often too. Like when I'm yeah. run, you know, I'm running now, I usually swim, but, uh, right. running with my wife in the mornings because of the situation, all the, you know, pools are closed and, and, you know, just when you're getting to that point where you just like feel like you need to release something and, you know, it, it's, it's a nice <laughs> feeling, even though people look at yeah. you like you're crazy. Right. Right. Um, so I, I ended up losing my voice a little bit, but it, it felt so good, you know, uh, to, to change that physiological aspect. If I'm ever feeling stuck, just moving the body in a unique way, just rearranges the cells. Something yeah. happens where the energy changes and I'm able to focus again. Yeah. It's kind of like in yoga where they tell you to just, you know, release it all out. Right. Yes. Awesome. So today we're going to discuss why you need content plan right now, uh, a simple formula to follow and an invitation, right? So, so Chris, I mean, you're the expert. Tell me, you know, why you need a content plan right now during the pandemic, you know, and what does that look like? So I'm going to be super practical right now. And, and I know we're speaking with a lot of salespeople, business owners, um, people that are looking for new tactics and, and to really talk about communication if it, you're, you're also probably finding this off of LinkedIn in some way or another, because that's, that's really our community here of, of mm-hmm. leaders in that area. And 
the the communication style of doing content through the lens of a podcast and building your own audience around uh, a unique content perspective has never been easier, more effective, or get, getting more tr- more traction than than today. Right. So I, you know, I've I built um, a professional YouTube and podcast recording studio here in Irvine. And when this whole COVID-19 thing hit, I thought, okay, I'm going to start just, I'm just going to have a ton of guests in here. I'm going to keep everything super sanitary. I'm going to keep everything super clean. Yeah. Um, But then, then social distancing came out and I'm like, okay, well, I can't do that. So I quickly adapted and learned how to become the, the, one of the best virtual podcast recorders, you know, make sure that my video is coming through extremely professionally, have the audio coming through extremely professionally, sending out invites at scale and automating my invitation process to, to start doing virtual recordings. And I've done 30 in two weeks, which is if I was doing once a week before, you just you just do the math. The the amount of additional traction on top of that, that's 30 additional relationships. That's 30 at-bats. That's 30 times that I got to deliver value to someone else. I give everybody a plug. I give everybody an opportunity to share their story. And I promote the heck out of them, um, especially yeah. being a LinkedIn Live beta tester. I'm also putting it out on LinkedIn Live. So you're doing, like, you're, you're doing like two a, you're doing like two a day. Yes. Basically. Yes. A lot. Wow. So tell me, I mean, for the person that's just getting started, right? That doesn't have the professional equipment, doesn't have the expertise, maybe doesn't have the budget, right? But wants to start producing content, you know, what, what do you suggest? See, it, it doesn't have to be the highest quality production. I, that's the standard I'm setting for myself. Mm-hmm. And bringing other people, my channel belongs to the LinkedIn community right now. So that, that's an open invitation to everybody. But the way I actually got started is I had a couple of cheap USB microphones off of Amazon, 30 bucks, and a little Logitech webcam and or the webcam that was on my existing laptop. So to, to set up a Zoom account, to use your iPhone headphones and your existing webcam in your computer to facilitate a live interaction the audio is good enough the video is good enough um yeah all, all you really need is is sort of a, a good a good flow and process for for editing editing that and getting that out um there's yeah. a lot of strategies in there but right now you can get a hold of basically anybody you've ever wanted to be your guest is available all these people are available you know how how much longer are we going to have to dare I say, take advantage of this opportunity, and it's taking advantage of it, meaning being very smart. These are you, yes. you can you can reach CEOs of companies right now that you probably would never be able to get a meeting with. I totally agree. And just to clear it up, like I know you, you know, we've had some conversations on a personal level as well. So when you say take advantage, you mean for a positive, you know, benefit for for others, right? And and I know yeah. that's what you mean. So I just want to clear that up, right? So. I think, you know, that kind of takes us into the next topic, right? So what's a simple formula to follow that you would suggest as far as like putting this content out? Absolutely. Very simple formula to follow. Think about the 20, 25 minute podcast recording. Have some questions ready to to interview someone. Um, Learn how to sort of be the listener, right? Just listen to their story, capture it. And then once you have that long form recording, ideally you've live streamed it, whether that's Facebook, YouTube, if you're a LinkedIn live beta tester, live stream it. Take that mm-hmm. recording mm-hmm. and just push it out, promote it, promote it on LinkedIn. Um, and then from that, create one to two minute soundbite videos of that recording. Yeah. Create like three of them. The best things that your guest said. Right. And there's some online tools out there that, that they make them look sort of reasonably good. But if you want them to look really, really good, you know, have a professional video editor do it and designer. Yeah. And then send them to your guest and say, hey, these are for you to share on your social media and have yeah. them tag you in it. 
And what this does is you end up sharing both of your, you, you end up sharing their network. So their, their network ends up seeing you and vice versa. And you're, you're, you're creating mutual benefit for everybody. It's mutual value creation. Um, and to take that and send and, and have link back to your actual podcast recordings or whatever call to action you want to have. The, the level of free traffic from that strategy is un, unprecedented. Um, I was just looking at my, um, my analytics the other day from ShieldApp, and since Jan 1, um, something like 200,000 impressions on my content. So just it, it, and, you're share, and you're sharing your channel for anybody who has a story, correct. right? Right. So, so that's a lot of eyeballs that are going to see that content. A lot of eyeballs, but a lot of engagement too. See, it's easy to measure views and everybody wants to yeah. measure views. I actually don't look at that and uh, I look more at likes and comments because right. that, those are people that raise their hand. Um, and I, I try and create content that's going to actually get people to engage because once they engage, the views come naturally. Right, right. And the more engagement, the more people are going to see it, right? Yes. Okay. And but if you're only focused on views, it's like it's the wrong metric. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, now, we talked a little bit about you know why it's important to be creating content right now. We talked a little bit about a simple formula as far as like creating the content and how to you know chop it up, edit it, and get it out there. Um, but what what message should people be sharing, right? Because I think a lot of people and I know you can share some insight on this, they have a hard time getting started because they just don't know what to say or what people want to hear them say. And I know you have some tips on this. Absolutely. So I believe that everybody has a story and um, to capture the essence of that is, is very important. So you might want to end up, maybe you discover your story by asking if you can be a guest on someone else's show and then you have an opportunity to start talking and then it starts to, to come out of you. But you look at what you're the most skilled at. What are, what are you the most skilled at? What, are, what can you be the best in the world at? What mm-hmm. drives economic value? So what can, what, what can you actually sell? And then what can you put the most passion behind? And at the intersection mm-hmm. of those three things is, is really the sweet spot of what you should be talking about all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and what's your thoughts about showing, you know, there's people who have mixed feelings about this. What's your thoughts about showing personal business or mix of both on LinkedIn? I, I share literally everything about myself, personal, whatever. I, I share my, my struggles and, and what it was like to get sober. I, I share the, the bad times and the good times. Yeah. Every single day that someone sees my content, they don't, they don't, they don't really know who they're, you know, if, if I'm having a bad day or a good day. Um, but I'm going to show them exactly who I am in that moment. I'm not going to hold anything back. But don't get me wrong. I, I'm, I'm not like cursing and putting out just this awful image. Right. I'm sharing the, auth- the authenticity of the moment uh, um, and, and every single time. Yeah, I don't have to pretend to be someone else. It's I'm the same person with everybody I interact with, right? Um, no masks. I just took the mask off one day. I said, I'm, I'm done with that. Don't need it. <laughs> and that, and that builds an incredible amount of trust to your yes. audience. Right. And I heard somebody talk about recently, like, you know, true vulnerability is sharing like tough times right now, what you're struggling with. Not like something that you did in the past and you're already on the other side of it, like true vulnerability. You know, and I think that you definitely, I've seen you share, you know, that and appreciate that. Um, We're going to take a quick second to tell you a little bit about what Monster VoIP does. We help companies save 30 to 50% off their current business phone bill while providing them more value and more features. If you'd like to learn more, you can text us at 424-378-6966. We're talking with Chris Decker and Chris, I, I think that, you know, we talked about some great things and you want to kind of talk about what that, that in, what your invitation is to people that are listening, right? Yeah. The, the invitation is simple. Um, part of, part of what happened once I started to 
understand what was going on, um, what, what was about to happen psychologically to people, what was about to happen in terms of people losing their job, um, and then looking beyond the living room where they have their laptop set up right now, looking beyond um, the initial the initial burden of having to figure things out and wondering what's going to be next for people once they start to emerge. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. holding on to a positive vision of the future right now. Um, and I can see it very clearly. Um, in March of 2019, I set a very simple but audacious goal of sharing 10,000 stories in 10 years. And this is stories from other people that I'm helping to, to capture them. Okay. So, Right now, I, I, I know that by sharing a story, it's the most effective way of communicating information. And then if you're effectively communicating, you're also attracting the people that you need to be speaking to. If you're, if you're effectively communicating enough, people are seeing it, if you're visible enough. Right. So I'm offering up my channel, everything, that any followers I have, anything I've built, my email list, whatever to to share your story and if that can derive some sort of benefit if someone can find you hire you uh work with you share some advice you can be there you can be a mentor to them whatever that is that's a gift that i want to give because a lot of like the fear mindset that i saw people jump into immediately was to start acting really really fast to start to accelerate freak out um, mm-hmm. start to hoard, buy toilet paper, um, yeah. all this crazy stuff, right? But I did this. I did the exact opposite. I just I paused. Um, I took inventory and I thought of what I can start giving, because I'm also kind of crazy and I believe the secret to living is giving. And once you sort of think about giving first, um, I think I know who said that. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Robbins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so true, though. It's so true, and I know that you live by that as well. Hundred percent. Yeah, I need a freaking haircut, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw um, I saw a video on LinkedIn. Uh, I think it was yesterday, where uh, you know it said, "Should I get a haircut or risk it?" And it was a video of somebody uh, in a chair getting a haircut, and the barber had the shears or clippers. Uh, on a long stick. <laughs> he was cutting his hair from a safe social distancing distance. Oh uh, I don't know. I think I'll wait it out. I don't know about you. <laughs> you know, I, I've, I've, I've been, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know if I want to take the risk. You know, I have my family at home, and um, luckily enough, I I, I have a, a a place to 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 work out of that is completely isolated. But not everybody has that luxury. I know. And, uh, I feel very, I feel very blessed at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm in a safe place where I have a private office, and there's only three of us here, and I'm able to come to work every day. And yeah, um, you know, things that we took for granted, we're not taking for granted anymore. And you know, right. finding appreciation and 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 gratitude for the smallest things um, that we took for granted before this situation is the way to stay positive. Through, you know, through these times. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, before I let you go, we're almost out of time here. Uh, tell us something else personal about yourself. I mean, I know you're pretty much an open book, um, but tell us something people might not know or something interesting. What's your favorite app? What's on your playlist? What's next on your reading list? Or maybe any big news that you have coming up that you might want to share with people? Anything? Yeah. Um, you know, June third, I'm going to be a dad. So I have my son's going to be born. Um, his name's Luke. Um, uh. We'll we'll see, give or take, what the day ends up happening. Hap, uh, what the day ends up happening to be. Um, so are we're we going to are we going to see that on LinkedIn Live? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Um, <laughs> Um, that would be pretty funny. See that on LinkedIn Live. Hey, here's my son. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Two, I guess. <laughs> One of the cooler things that I've done, um, Ironman 70.3 in Hawaii, um, did that uh, a couple of years ago now. And I'm really itching to do another race, um, another Ironman type race. But it takes mm. so much time that I'm like, well, I'm going to be a dad. Do I, do I really yeah. want to spend all this time training? So I'm, I'm having to really weigh my priorities in life right now. So 
Um, if you have any tips, I'm definitely open to it. Yeah, and you have a lot of stories to tell too. So I don't know if yeah. you'll be able to fit training in. <laughs> right. All right. Well, that is all the time that we have today. Chris, thanks again for your investment. Welcome to the Monster Chats community. Um, what's the best way for people to find you, Chris? Yeah, um, LinkedIn, right? So Christopher Lee Decker, LinkedIn. I have a little flame emoji emoji at the end of my name. My iMessage, so you can text me directly, 949-748-0504. Or if you want to go old school with email, that's Christopher at Decker, D-E-C-K-E-R and A-N-D, read R-E-E-D dot com. That's right. me. What if we want to go super old school and send you a fax? Right. I don't have that set up, unfortunately. <laughs> I have to talk uh, to the guys at Monster Board to get that set up. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks so much. Um, you know, if you are listening to the podcast, please subscribe, review, share. We're listening. We want to hear your feedback. The show is all about you. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Monster Chats, presented by Monster Voigt, where we share the tools, methods, and best practices that business leaders use to build new connections, strengthen relationships, and impact sales in organizations of all shapes and sizes. If you have any questions from today's show and want to reach us directly, please text your question to 424-378-6966.